Question coming in from Kranken Viking. Watson wants to play with the Vikings. Would it be a good spot for him? I've seen some rumors out there that, yes, Vikings and Tampa Bay has been thrown in there. Also saw a rumor out there that he wants to play with Justin Jefferson. If Aaron Rodgers leaves Green Bay and he goes to Minnesota, yeah, that's absolutely a good spot because the Vikings would probably be the favorite. You have Adam Thielen. You have Justin Jefferson. You have Dalvin Cook. If I was Deshaun Watson, I'd be interested in it. So how about this question, y'all? Where will Deshaun Watson play in 2022? I know we're still facing the allegation claims. We'll see what ends up happening there. I do not believe that he ends up staying with the Houston Texans. But if you had to guess, right now, where will Deshaun Watson play next season? From uh, Obasa Abidi. Hope I got that right. Cousins and hefty draft capital for Trey Lance. Reunion for Shanahan Mobility for Minnesota. Um, I, I don't think so. I think if, if Shanahan really wanted Kirk Cousins, he wouldn't have traded for Trey Lance. So, creative idea. I'll give you credit for that. I don't see how there's any chance the Niners would move on from Lance this year. There just, just makes no sense. From Alexander May, who could draft a QB like Matt Corral in round one? A lot of different teams. Corral was a tough eval. Uh, accurate, quick release, you know, Good arm, solid athlete. The offense at, at Ole Miss was a lot of play action, a lot of RPOs, a lot of screens, a lot, a lot of one-read stuff. When he gets beyond the first read, it wasn't very good. So that makes him a tricky eval. If you're going to go round one, Minnesota probably makes some sense. Pittsburgh's in there. New Orleans. Maybe a team like Atlanta or Denver Probably not round one for Atlanta, maybe more round two, maybe something similar for Denver. I think the team that might make the most sense for him, by the way, I could see Washington really liking what Matt Corral does and how he could fit for their team. Who do you think is the best QB in this year's NFL draft? I'm going to make this question the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with the ad break on YouTube, head down there and let me know. Top QB in this year's class. Evan Enders, Vikings straight up to get Kayvon Thibodeau. Uh, they're picking th uh, at 12 right now. Let's say uh, he slides to 6 with Carolina. In that scenario, you could maybe offer your first and your second and... Ooh, here's... I got it. Here's... Oh, I got it. I got it. Your first round pick. Uh, well, maybe your first round pick. But you package Kirk Cousins and something else to get to number six. Maybe it is your first round pick since it's not a great contract, but you package Kirk Cousins and your first, and you're picking number six. You take Kayvon Thibodeau. You still gotta figure out QB, you sign somebody, you draft somebody else, whatever, but that's how you get up to Carolina's pick at six. Now, maybe you wanna keep Kirk Cousins. If you're doing that, because your quarterback's a need, maybe it's your first, second, and maybe something else, but he's gotta get a top five to make that feasible for you to go up and go get him. From Black Panther, Kirk Cousins the Steelers. Who says no? Uh, Pittsburgh, maybe? I don't have a good feel for Kirk Cousins, speaking of him overall. Uh, massive cap hit. He's in that Tannehill range. Like, he's good. And you could do so much worse than him. But are you going to be able to do enough with him at QB? I'm not sure. Could he be a hat on the cheap? Like, if Minnesota rebuilds, could I get Kirk for a second or third? maybe it starts to make a little bit of sense. So I don't know what happens with Cousins. If he does get dealt, yeah, Pittsburgh's probably on that list of teams that make some semblance of sense. So with Cousins, will he be traded this offseason? Shoot your shot in the comments section. Why for yes and for no. The past master. I think the Vikings get O-line or defensive help from the draft. I think early you're probably going to be looking more on lines at defensive help. Your offensive line, as long as you keep, uh, as long as you play Wyatt Davis, you've invested a lot there. Maybe Tyler Linderbaum. I, I think overall you're in pretty good shape, though, along the offensive line. Free agents, you know what, past master? Make sure you are subscribed to our Vikings YouTube channel. We, we will break down plenty of true free agent targets more than just so I can give you like a 30-second spiel. So, Subscribe, and you'll, you'll see what we got over there. And if you love the NFL, subscribe to us here at Chat Sports, youtube.com slash TV. Daily NFL news, 
mailbags, trades, free agency, draft, all of it. Hit that big red button and subscribe. Let's go to the pass master. Mitch, where do you think Juju ends up? Could you see the Vikings making an offer to J.C. Jackson? Minnesota definitely needs a cornerback, so going out and getting somebody like J.C. Jackson, yes, it is a possibility. Stephon Gilmore, Carlton Davis, uh, Casey Hayward, I don't think is a guy that would fit their system very well. In terms of Juju, where do I think he ends up? I don't know if he ends up going back to Pittsburgh. I know he went back last year on a one-year $8 million deal. I think the Raiders actually make some sense. I know he grew up a Raiders fan. Some other teams, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, that might end up needing a receiver. I don't see him going to Cleveland, though. They might be a team that could actually try to go out and get him. Kansas City's been looking for another receiver. Uh, Chargers actually, I think, make some sense as well. So Juju's going to be getting some money. He's got a big-time name, though. He's probably like my seventh-ranked receiver that's about to hit the free agent market. Super chat from Jose Raider Martinez. Where do you think Mariota will end up? Ooh, good question. Um... So much this depends on what trades go down. I think teams that he could make some sense in. I could see a team like maybe Denver gives a shot. I think Washington could sign Mariota and then draft somebody as well. Uh, you know, beyond that, does a team like Houston bring him in as a veteran behind Davis Mills? Does a team like the Giants want to have a bit of more of a competition if they can't get maybe a Mitchell Trubisky? It's given the Brian Dable connection there. Does a team like the Vikings blow it up with Kirk Cousins and add a guy like Marcus Mariota? And maybe the Saints or Panthers or Tampa could be fit. As I will shoot my way to early shot. Give me Washington. Probably wrong, but give me Washington for Marcus Mariota. Today's video is powered by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code you guys see on here. That is NFL Daily. It'll get you 125% deposit bonus when you put down at least a hundred bucks chatsports.com slash bet promo code nfl daily super bowl 56 is in the books the los angeles rams took down the cincinnati Bengals. but now here's my question i want you to look into the crystal ball and i want you to let me know who is going to win super bowl 57 i know the last time i checked the terms of the teams that were the favorites chiefs bills rams Cowboys, Bengals, and I believe the 49ers were the top six teams to go out and win Super Bowl 57. If you disagree with those six odds, hey, let me know what you guys are thinking. Let's go to Taco Frog 88. Who is the biggest defensive free agent? If you're talking about height and weight, I do not know the answer to that. If you're talking about just who I think the top offensive free agent is, I'll say JC or yeah, JC Jackson. He's a shutdown corner. He's had 17 interceptions the past two seasons, 25 picks the past four. Dude had 23 pass breakups. So if you need a shutdown corner, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a guy like J.C. Jackson. If it's overall height and weight, I don't really have a good answer for it on that. But I know, I'm being sarcastic. Just Taylor Holland, love the show. Perfect timing coming off to the sub read. You guys should do a top 50 prospect NFL pro comp show. I'll try and do a big board at some point this year, and uh, in that scenario, I'll, I'll throw in some, some pro comps. I don't like to force them, though, because I do them as, like, play style and athletic ability and size, and it always ends up getting interpreted as, oh, you mean he's going to be as good as that player, which is almost never what I'm going for, but that's just how comps are. I get it. Uh, second part is, would love it. Which team likely trades back up? Into round one. Ooh, good question. Um, uh, I could see a team like the Jets have the draft capital to, to pull it off. Now I, they they're pretty aggressive. So I'll go with with the Jets. Two early second rounders. They could get aggressive with some of those picks. They've got a lot of them this year. So I will shoot my shot. Give me the Jets this year. If you want more free NFL videos, boy, if you guys come to the right spot, hit that big red button and subscribe today for free NFL videos on news, rumors, trades, draft, free agency, and mailbags like these. Hit that big red button and subscribe today. From Dan233, will the Lions ever be good? Yes, they will. At some point in the lifetime of football in the NFL, the Lions will win another playoff game. I don't know when. But it'll happen at some point.